Hey everybody, was just out watering some flowers and I noticed we had a lot of butterflies around. I wanted to get some video of that. So I ran inside and grabbed my camera. By the time I got back out, our friendly neighborhood hummingbird moth showed up. I actually had one of these land on my hand while I was fishing the other day, totally freaked me out. <laughs> so I've shot a video of this before. I'll see if I can find it and I'll attach a card so you can see a better, a closer look at the hummingbird moth. But what I really wanted to show today is just all the butterflies we've got going on over here with uh, the butterfly bush and surprisingly these um, tiger lilies actually seem to attract a lot of hummingbirds, the hummingbird moth, and butterflies. I never really thought about them as being uh, butterfly-friendly type flowers, but apparently they are. And then, of course, these butterfly bushes are just the bee's knees when it comes to attracting butterflies. They love them. My neighbor has a much sunnier yard than I do, and his butterfly bush is just dense and covered in flowers and then of course it also attracts butterflies by maybe not the hundreds but certainly by the dozens it's really impressive to see but the last uh, yard tour video I shot I was saying how the uh, butterfly bush was just opening up our flocks were just opening up and while we were at peak flower at that point and are certainly past it now we hadn't really got to the point where the butterflies were here yet and so now I'm happy to say we've got Lots of butterflies flying around it in the yard again. It's kind of strange when you look up at all the flocks up there. I don't see any activity at all. So maybe it's not the flocks that they're interested in. And now that I'm looking over here, the only thing I saw on the flocks was that hummingbird moth. So maybe the butterflies really aren't interested in the flocks very much. Interesting. Never really noticed that before. I just assumed they were interested in all of it. And speaking of the hummingbird moth, there it is again. I knew it would come back sooner or later. Let's see if we get a closer look at it this time. I swear the only thing it's missing is the hum of the hummingbird. Although if you've ever been really close to a hummingbird, it's more of a buzz than a hum. Really, really love that little moth. There you go, everybody. Nice, cheerful little Saturday evening. Look at the garden. Again, not going to do the whole yard tour. Uh, I will also point out while I got you here, our lady in red, Salvia, in our wheelbarrow is sort of passing its prime, too. It's in full flower, but we failed to actually put any kind of stakes or anything in it this year. And it's actually getting so big, it's kind of splaying out and falling over. You can kind of make out the handles of the wheelbarrow in there. So there's a wheelbarrow underneath all that that's actually holding that as a planter. And that is our Lady in Red Salvia. And that is Princess Sassafras and Luke. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you real soon in the next one.